Good evening, everyone. My name is Jennifer Bissell, and I am the CEO at the Newfoundland and Labrador Organization for Women Entrepreneurs. Tonight, we will be presenting six awards, and these are the categories. Trailblazer, Trendsetter, Momentum, Economic Impact, Young Entrepreneur, and of course, Entrepreneurial Excellence. I'd like to take a moment now to acknowledge our evening's award sponsors, because without them, we wouldn't be able to do this this evening. Thank you, Cox and Palmer, for sponsoring the Trailblazer Award, Blue Drop Learning Networks for the Trendsetter Award sponsor, McGinnis Cooper for the Momentum Award sponsor, the Hebron Project, Economic Impact Award sponsor, College of the North Atlantic, who's sponsoring the Young Entrepreneur Award, and also RBC Royal Bank of Canada, the sponsor of the Entrepreneurial Excellence Award. Many of our award sponsors have been with us since almost the beginning, and we thank them for all of their years of support and dedication in helping women business owners succeed in Newfoundland and Labrador. And thank you all at home who are tuning in here this evening. We're delighted to have you joining us. Before we get started, I would like to invite Margaret Budgel. She's the president of Enlo's Board of Directors to say a few words in greeting. Thank you, Jennifer. I am so excited to be here for Enlo's 23rd Annual Entrepreneur of the Year Awards. On behalf of the Board of Directors and staff of the Newfoundland and Labrador Organization of Women Entrepreneurs, who, by the way, we are missing dearly here this evening, it is my pleasure to welcome you to our first virtual awards event. We are very happy that you are joining us tonight to celebrate the women entrepreneurs of this province. Tonight's award recipients are women who are blazing trails, setting trends, and creating momentum as driving forces in our economy. These women have made a significant impact on their communities and their role models. Sorry, they are role models, providing inspiration to many other entrepreneurs in the province. The work of all of our award recipients this year has been remarkable. And it is with great pleasure that we recognize their efforts and wish them continued success. In accepting the awards tonight, recipients will experience an enhanced profile in Newfoundland and Labrador and an expanded network of peers and contacts. This recognition will also serve to create more role models and mentors for women in business across the province. Women leaders are essential to growing our economy, and we at NLO are dedicated to creating the supports necessary to see women take up more leadership roles in business and on boards. There are so many women business owners in Newfoundland and Labrador who are drivers of growth in our economy, as witnessed by the high volume of nominations we received for this year's awards program. At this time, I would like to take a moment to commend all those who were nominated for an award. Receiving a nomination for an Entrepreneur of the Year Award is truly an honor. It means that someone believes that you and your business are making an impact on your community. Congratulations to all those who were nominated. We are excited to see so many people online tonight watching from home to celebrate women in business. As well, I'd like to reiterate Je Jennifer's words we recognize the impact of the pandemic the, the pandemic has had on everyone, along with the most recent concerns. While being unable to honor these wonderful women in person, we are so happy to be able to do it virtually by strictly following all the guidelines set out by Dr. Janice Fitzgerald. Women mean business in Newfoundland and Labrador. We are here. We are making a difference and we play a significant role in the future growth of this province. Also evident is the tremendous work and dedication of the NLO staff. I personally would like to thank all of our staff for their hard work and commitment. You are the best. I'd also like to recognize our board of directors who graciously volunteer their time to help lead this wonderful organization. It has been my honor and pleasure to work with each and every one of you, and I look forward to continuing to do so. Once again, congratulations to the recipients of this year's 2020 Entrepreneur of the Year Awards. 
You are part of an outstanding group of accomplished entrepreneurs and deserve to be honored and recognized for your success. You are an inspiration to everyone around you. We are delighted that the Lieutenant Governor, Judy Foote, Minister Melanie Jolie, and Premier Andrew Fury took a few moments to record some greetings for us this evening. Let's take a look. Good evening. I'm excited to join you and have this opportunity to recognize the exceptional women entrepreneurs being celebrated tonight with six different awards. Congratulations to Enlo on this, the 23rd Entrepreneur of the Year Awards. The award categories, Trailblazer, Trendsetter, Momentum, Economic Impact, Young Entrepreneur, and Entrepreneurial Excellence speak to ambition, determination, and action. I smile when I say that because that is exactly what defines the women I know the determination to succeed, which requires ambition and action. The awards not only raise the profile of the achievements of those being recognized, but serve to encourage other women to dream big to accomplish their goals. It is so important that women support each other as one way to build a stronger, gender-equal society. Thank you for this opportunity to do exactly that and to congratulate the amazing women being celebrated tonight. Good evening, everyone. Bonsoir à toutes et à tous. It is a pleasure for me to be part of this virtual celebration. Communities across our country are facing their most challenging time in recent history. COVID-19 has affected our families, work life and businesses alike. As we navigate through the pandemic, we must all do our part to stay safe. And we also need to support the very heart of our communities, our local businesses, so that they can bounce back even stronger than before. That's why Canada's COVID-19 economic response plan has implemented initiatives to protect millions of jobs and help businesses stay afloat. In these uncertain times, it is still very important to take time to celebrate our successes. And as a former entrepreneur myself, I'm aware of the challenges women entrepreneurs face in their career. And I know the pandemic has enhanced these challenges. So tonight's ceremony recognizes resourceful, ambitious women in business. We're celebrating your passion for business and your hard work to excel. I'm proud to be working with Enlo through the Atlantic Canada Opportunities Agencies, which we know is all ACOA, to help women in business to succeed. Hats off to Enlo for finding a way to celebrate these accomplishments during the pandemic. Congratulations to the outstanding woman entrepreneur. Félicitations à toutes. Good evening. Congratulations to all the Entrepreneur of the Year Award winners. Women entrepreneurs play a vital role in shaping our province's business community and are contributing to our economy. The Newfoundland and Labrador Organization of Women Entrepreneurs is integral in this. Our government is very proud to partner with you, and I want you to know just how much I admire the work you do. Entrepreneurs are part of the backbone of Newfoundland and Labrador, and I have the honor of knowing many of you and seeing what you bring to your communities. We just need more of you. We need to encourage more employers, corporations and government to ensure women owned businesses are integrated in our supply chains. Government is working on this. We are requiring the development of business access strategies for women and diverse groups as a part of the gender equity and diversity plans for large resource development projects. We are working together to improve the social and economic status of women, to evolve a women's leadership strategy, and to overcome barriers to women's participation in leadership positions. Thank you for inviting me to bring greetings tonight and congratulations once again on these well-deserved honors. I'd like to add my thanks to those of Margaret for our special guests bringing greetings this evening. Our first virtual door prize here this evening is an original art canvas from Neural Hand Painted Art out of New Perlican. And I just want to show you this canvas very quickly because it's very pretty. Crooked stages, that's the line. It's a lovely canvas valued at $200. Everybody in their homes, beat on your, on your laps. Let's do it. 
And the winner is Anna Petal. Anna, congratulations. We will make sure that we get in touch with you and ensure that this is delivered to you in the coming days. Congratulations again. So now it's the time that we have all been waiting for. The reason why we're here this evening, the presentation of Enlo's 2020 Entrepreneur of the Year Awards. The first award this evening is the Trailblazer Award, which is sponsored by Cox & Palmer. The Trailblazer Award recognizes an entrepreneur who owns and operates a business that has excelled in a non-traditional industry for women-owned businesses or successfully established a business in an industry uncommon in the area in which it operates. This entrepreneur has blazed a trail for others to follow and find success. So thank you, Cox & Palmer, for sponsoring this award. Let's learn a little bit more about Cox & Palmer now, as well as meet this year's Trailblazer Award recipient. Take a look. Cox & Palmer is a full-service Atlantic Canadian law firm. We provide advice uh, to individuals and businesses across a broad sector and all major industries in the region. We believe that the difference is a great relationship. We know that in building strong client relationships, we will get great results. We at Cox & Palmer are committed to giving back to our community. Annually, we support more than 30 local charities, not-for-profit, and community organizations as they worked to build a stronger city and province. It's important for Cox & Palmer to support women entrepreneurs because we believe women have incredible ideas, incredible perspectives, and incredible solutions to offer. Women make strong business leaders. We know that in helping them, we enable them to bring their diverse voice to our business community, and that can only strengthen the economy of Newfoundland and Labrador. Cox & Palmer is proud to support women in business. Among our clients, we have countless talented women who run the show and make tough decisions every day. We offer them help to allow them to do that because when our clients succeed, we succeed. We also support the talented women that are here in our law firm. Through flexible workplace arrangements, professional development, and opportunities in networking, we encourage our women here at the firm to lead both professionally and personally. Hello, my name is Anna Cook. I'm a partner at Cox & Palmer and an active Enlo member. I'm delighted to be here this evening on behalf of my partners to present this year's award. Let's take a look at this year's Trailblazer Award winner. So Creatros has a new product called Skills Hawk. You search the skills that you require and ours will give you an unbiased output of the most qualified people in your organization. So I've always had that nature to just see things differently and see solutions. It's always exciting to be able to see something come from nothing and be something that someone else uses to benefit them. What motivates me every day is uh, my team. Um, I have two other co-founders and we have a really close-knit, uh, very supportive team. And on those days that you know I'm ready to give up, they kind of are there to inspire me and motivate me and we kind of take turns in that kind of way. What inspires me I think the most is seeing other entrepreneurs take uh, something from nothing and build it into an amazing company. Starting it from scratch to come to something that can mean a lot to a lot of people. The biggest challenge in the tech industry would probably be how it evolves very quickly. It changes much more rapidly than most industries. You know, you really have to make sure that you're always kind of evolving with the industry instead of being left behind. What's next for us is basically going from a small startup to a bit more established, having our products, you know, being used by a lot more users. That's what I guess success for me would be in the next year or so, is to really solidify us into our field and into the industry. Receiving this award uh, was a shock. <laughs> I guess like a lot of women, I don't necessarily see that in myself, that I'm successful in a way, but if other people see it in me, I take that as a great validation that I'm doing something right. My advice for new entrepreneurs is, you know, it is tough to start in the beginning and 
don't take no as a closed door, take no as a conversation. And you can learn almost more from a no than you can a yes. Please join me in welcoming the recipient of Enlo's 2020 Trailblazer Award, Ashley Sullivan from Creatros Technologies. Um, I'd just like to thank Enlo and the Enlo board for making these awards possible and uh, <clears throat> Cox and Palmer for sponsoring this one in particular. Uh, I personally was, like I said, uh, quite surprised, but honored to even be nominated for these awards. Um, let alone chosen to be a winner. Uh, my business is still in its very early stages and we have a long way to go, but I think we've come quite a long way already. Um, so being chosen for this award definitely gives me personal validation and it kind of proves that we're headed in the right direction that other people see promise in not only me, but the company itself. Um, Creatures Technologies wouldn't be what it is today without the tremendous support that, we rec that, that I need to recognize. Um, We've received a lot of amazing support here in Newfoundland uh, from the Genesis Center has been vital, um, MUN MCE, and we actually got started in the Memorial Inter Entrepreneurship Training Program back a couple years ago. Um, if it wasn't for that program, we would have never met each other. So <clears throat> that was vital in starting Creatros Technologies. Um, as importantly is funding. We've actually received quite a lot of support from the government here and specifically from NRC that I'd really like to, to thank them for their support because you can have an idea, but if you don't have the funding to make it work, then you don't really have much to go on. Um, especially the Newfoundland government as well, the tech industry has really grown here and I think it's a lot, it's a, had an amazing start and I think there's a lot of tremendous opportunity here to make it even bigger. Um, the tech industry, actually, I guess I'm kind of biased, but I think it's a really great environment for not just women, but also people with disabilities and things like that. And the Newfoundland environment is so isolated that the tech industry actually gives you a really great opportunity to have more flexibility in work, where you can work from, your work hours and things like that, which is actually quite <clears throat> helpful for our environment because we can, as long as you have an internet connection, you can make it work. So starting a business from scratch is obviously very challenging for the first time, uh, as most of you know. So I do want to take like my main time to thank my co-founders, uh, Arif Sheikh and Manjar Hassan, who are definitely the reason why I'm still here and why Courageous is what it is today. They have been keeping me going on the nights that I have definitely wanted to give up. And uh, our close knit team has been invaluable in getting our software up to where it is today. If I can inspire just a few people <clears throat> to kind of take on the challenge of not only starting your own business, but kind of believing in yourself. If you can be your own best cheerleader, then you can always usually make it work. So I'm hoping that people take the challenge, try something new, and also don't forget to like reach out for help and support. So thank you very much for this award, and I really appreciate it. Congratulations, Ashley. Next up, we're going to do another virtual door prize draw. The next door prize that we have this evening is some art from one of my favorite local artists. In fact, it's Brenda Rowe. She has uh, provided us with five porcelain ornaments, and I'll just hold one up here so you can see they're all different, but this one's my favorite, so this is why I'm going to show it off. Uh, lovely collection of ornaments. And again, it's from Brenda Rowe Art. So again, everybody at home, get on your coffee table. Start banging. Here we go. And we have a winner, and the winner is Susan R. Scott. So, Susan, congratulations. We will make sure that you receive these in the coming days. All right, we're just clipping along now. We're ready for another award. The second award this evening that we will be presenting is the Trendsetter Award, sponsored by Blue Drop. The Trendsetter Award recognizes an entrepreneur who owns and operates a successful business that employs innovation and original thinking in both its operational and promotional activities. This entrepreneur's business stands out from the others in the industry. It's always just a little different. It sets trends and it turns traditional ideas on their heads. I think you'll all agree with me that these particular award recipients fit the bill. Thank you, Blue Drop Learning Networks, for sponsoring this award. 
Stay tuned to learn a little bit more about Blue Drop and meet this year's Trendsetter Award recipients. Really hard to narrow down exactly what Blue Drop does, but at its core, we are all about empowering and enabling people and organizations to be able to pivot through this sometimes very scary technological evolution that's happening when it comes to skill sets. 50% of our executive staff are women and 50% of our workforce is women in general. We are very heavily community uh, focused. So we have our True Blue charity team, um, which we engage all of our employees with to help organizations, individuals, all throughout the community, not just in St. John's vicinity, but globally. For us, supporting women entrepreneurs is a part of our DNA. We've been heavily involved into the Dream Builder project. It was a platform for them to learn skills, to be able to break into their own business. So 50% of the population are women. And strong businesses supported by strong women is going to make our global economy even stronger as well. Hi everyone, I'm Crystal and I'm with the customer success team here at Blue Drop. I am thrilled and pumped to be here today to talk about the Trendsetter Award. So let's get right to it. Let's look at Enlo's 2020 Trendsetter Award winner. The Shop Salt is a clothing brand based out of St. John's, Newfoundland and Labrador. Um, the meaning behind the brand is to celebrate being salt of the earth, to be genuine, good-natured, and to follow your own path. There was never any particular moment that I realized I wanted to be an entrepreneur. I just knew that I wanted to do something that made me happy and I felt fulfilled, and I knew that meant carving out space to do something for myself. My favorite thing about being an entrepreneur is probably the creativity, getting to um, experience each day um, that's always a challenge and it's always different. As the business grows, our roles change and with that, it's unpredictable and I love the challenges that it brings. I think the key to our success has been our relationship and how well we know each other and how we strive to be authentic and honest and open with each other all the time. And I really think that that resonates with the people in Newfoundland Labrador but also in other places across the country. It's funny because it looks like limitless. Like I, I know page 83 is a filler that we were looking at. Yeah. Being from Newfoundland and Labrador has really shaped our business. Um, it models everything that we do. We're inspired by the landscape. We're inspired by the people. We wanted to really live um, out our dreams here and live here and, you know, just kind of where we wanted to stay. I think trend setting for us means creating space for new ideas and being progressive. We try to create more unique, dynamic shopping experiences for our audience uh, with pop-ups and even our marketing. We try to keep things very authentic and true to what we're like. To get this award, we feel super honored. It's been really exciting. It's funny when you are running your own business and you come and you work so hard and you persevere and you just work through all the challenges and you feel like no one really sees that or notices. So to have someone you know, recognize the amount of work that it takes is pretty incredible. It's just really wonderful to see where we are now. It's a nice full circle moment. Please join me in congratulating Enlo's 2020 Trendsetter Award recipients, Lauren Saunders and Emily Evans of The Shop Salt. <laughs> Unfortunately, Lauren and Emily could not be here with us this evening, but they did send along a note that they asked me to read. So as I'm reading this, it's not my words. These are directly from Lauren and Emily. We are completely honored to receive the Trendsetter Award. We wanted to thank Enlo for this acknowledgement and opportunity, but also for supporting women entrepreneurs throughout the province. The incredible female business owners of Newfoundland and Labrador have been a source of strength. 
support and inspiration for us. And it's thanks to organizations like Enlo for giving us a platform to share our success and stories to connect us and ultimately lead us here to accept this award. It's been the joy of our lives to create SALT, watch it grow and connect with people from across our province and the country. We fully stand behind the sentiment of our brand to be the salt of the earth, to follow your dreams, remain genuine, carve your own path, regardless of how unconventional. To our families and friends who have supported us so much along the way, we thank you. We could never have done this without your unconditional love and support. We are excited to see where SALT takes us next. And even during the most challenging year for many of us, it is the love of what we do that continues to motivate us and find new ways to connect us with people, even at a safe distance. Thank you so much, Lauren and Emily. So again, congratulations. <sighs> Deep breath time. Another virtual door prize. This time, I got to tell you folks, I'm in love. I am in love. It is a sea glass pendant. You can see it here. Maybe if you look real close, some beautiful sea glass. And then we have a matching pair of sea glass blue earrings. Just gorgeous. This is from Carlin Designs out of Clarenville. And we will draw in just a moment. But I also wanted to take a moment to tell you a little bit about a promotion that she currently has happening at Carlin Designs. You see, they're trying to sell a number of wish bracelets. And if they sell a certain number of wish bracelets, they will be able to grant a wish for um, a young child in Newfoundland and Labrador. So that's the goal. If you're looking for an interesting and unique Christmas gift, take a look at their site and see what they have to offer because this has been a tough year for charities and Carlin wants to do their part to make it a little easier and I'm happy to let people know that that's what they're about. So without further ado, who is going to be the lucky person to take this home? Let's find out. Drum rolls, drum rolls. Here we go. And the winner is Leanne O'Leary. Congratulations, Leanne. We will make sure that you receive this. I will try not to lose it on the way to the shipper. We'll see. The third award this evening that we are going to be presenting is the Momentum Award, which is sponsored by McGinnis Cooper. The Momentum Award recognizes an entrepreneur who has demonstrated significant growth and or growth potential within a one to three year time span. This entrepreneur has built a business that is adequate and able to successfully leverage opportunities for continued growth. Thank you, McGinnis Cooper, for sponsoring this award. And let's also meet this year's Momentum Award recipient. McGinnis Cooper is among the leading business firms in Canada. We provide legal services in the Atlantic region, across North America and beyond. At McGinnis Cooper, a commitment to community involvement is part of our corporate culture and organization. We have a formal collective social responsibility program, uh, which is premised on five pillars, community impact, environmental stewardship, access to justice, wellness promotion, and diversity and inclusion. The initiative that we would have that supports women in business would be our Power of Women Committee, which uh, we refer to as the POW Committee. What POW uh, does, it supports our female lawyers to advance their careers and to afford them leadership opportunities. At McGinnis Cooper, it is important for us to support female entrepreneurs because we understand firsthand the significant obstacles and barriers that women entrepreneurs face in both setting up their business as well as growing their business. We want to continue to support female entrepreneurs by continuing to reduce those barriers and to actively promote and support the networks that are being made available to women business entrepreneurs. My name is Caroline Watton. I'm a partner at McGinnis Cooper and a member of the board of directors of Anne Lau. We at McGinnis Cooper are absolutely thrilled to be presenting this year's Momentum Award. Grade 
Delight is our passion project uh, where we serve uh, authentic Pakistani Indian cuisine using handmade local or organic ingredients. I think I've had an entrepreneur spirit since I was little because I do recall uh, experimenting different things and fun ideas with my friends. I think my favorite thing about uh, being an entrepreneur or, or business owner uh, is the pride and joy that something that is so personal to you is, you know, appreciated and is liked by other people. My husband is a huge inspiration for me because uh, he's just like, um, he's a huge supporter and uh, he knows what my strengths and my weaknesses are. So it's really easy to get overwhelmed very easily because sometimes it's very chaotic as well. So he's kind of like my rock. There will be uh, times where you will have to uh, do something different in order to survive or just, you know, make uh, your business better, your clients happier. Over a short period of time, we had an opportunity to grow immensely, uh, which made us um, really think about our resources and our own uh, abilities. And it really pushed us to expand on that and uh, really take things positively and keep pushing through. As always, uh, a huge shout out to our staff that uh, keeps calm in the chaos and helps keep uh, moving forward throughout the day. Receiving the Momentum Award uh, is an absolute honor. I cannot even describe in words how it made me feel uh, to have all that hard work uh, kind of be um, appreciated and like acknowledged. Uh, for new entrepreneurs, I would my advice would be to find something that inspires you, uh, that you're passionate about, and then also be ready to work hard and work smart because there are no shortcuts. As a resident of Mount Pearl, I can tell you how delighted we are to have Hurry Delight in the neighborhood. Please join me in welcoming the recipient of Enlo's 2020 Momentum Award, Afia Altaf of Curry Delight. Thank you so much for this incredible honor. Um, I am so happy and emotional at the same time to receive this recognition. Um, it just feels uh, not so long ago that we started with a small booth at the St. John's Farmer's Market. Um, we had uh, no idea what we were doing and uh, where it was gonna go. Um, all we had was just a burning desire to do something unique, create something that is our own. Um, and to see it flourish to this point, I am, I just feel incredibly humbled and proud. Uh, it has been a hard, but a very rewarding journey. Um, and I am here because of the incredible support we have received from the community, uh, and from people who try and love our food and share it with their friends. Um, I would love to, I would like to give a huge shout out to my wonderful husband and my family who have been my biggest supporters throughout. A huge shout out to um, Enlo and the incredible sponsors. Uh, thank you for all the work that you do to in, empower women and to create opportunities like this to recognize their talents and their passion. Thank you so much. Congratulations, Afia. Well, by now, folks, you know the drill. It's time for another door prize draw. We have this evening a basket from uh, Spruced Up Labrador. It's filled with all natural bath products and it smells heavenly. It's over here on the table. It's a bit heavy, so I'm not gonna lift it up, but it is wonderful. So let's do the drum roll. Ready? And the winner is Karen Windsor. Karen, congratulations. We'll make sure that we get that to you in the coming days. 
Okay, here we go. This is very exciting. Our fourth award this evening is the Economic Impact Award, which is sponsored by the Hebron Project. The Economic Impact Award recognizes an entrepreneur whose business has significantly impacted the local economy. This entrepreneur has improved the economic position of the community in which it operates by employing local resources, stimulating growth, and contributing to sustainable community development. Thank you to the Hebron Project for sponsoring this year's award. Let's take a moment now to learn a little bit more about the Hebron Project and to celebrate this year's Economic Impact Award recipient. Let's take a look. As operator of the Hebron Project, ExxonMobil Canada is a leading developer and producer of oil and gas for offshore Newfoundland and Labrador. ExxonMobil Canada is also extremely focused in inclusion and diversity efforts, and we've definitely proven this through several of our initiatives and programs. In 2020 alone, we've supported organizations such as the Kids Eat Smart Foundation, uh, the Newfoundland Labrador Sexual Assault and Crisis and Prevention Center, Bridges for Hope, uh, the Enlo Awards Gala, and that's just scratching the surface. Our supplier diversity program was founded out of our commitment to the province and it provides access to resources and formal certification for qualifying businesses. ExxonMobil Canada is also a huge supporter of promoting diverse businesses and women entrepreneurs in our community. And we like to support organizations that promote the development of women entrepreneurs such as Enlo. Supporting women entrepreneurs is important for us because by doing so, we strengthen the communities in which we live and work. Their success means more money being circulated through the province, through new infrastructure, through social programs. It means that parents can take their kids out and sign them up for dance lessons or soccer practice. The ripple effects are truly outstanding. ExxonMobil Canada also acknowledges the importance of supporting women in business within its own team. Employee resource groups like our Women's Interest Network aim to create a culture within ExxonMobil Canada that fosters IND within the leadership behaviors of all of our employees. The company recognizes that there are still workplace challenges that impact women more. And the Women's Interest Network has a mission and set goals to find effective solutions and enablers to succeed. Hi. My name is Carolyn Barnes, and I'm the procurement manager at ExxonMobil Canada, which is the operator of Hebron and the lead owner of Hibernia. Hebron is excited and proud to be a part of recognizing the efforts of a local entrepreneur. This year's Economic Impact Award goes to Alderwood is a retirement centre for seniors. We do different levels of care. We have level one, two and enhanced care. With our extension, we're going to be adding more staff. Of course, it will bring more people into the community and the stores. Alderwood will be there for the community, whatever they need. I think the key to my success is uh, that I've surrounded myself with people that have the same values and work ethic that I do. I, I think that attributes a lot to success in business. Well, I would also like to say that my mom has inspired me over the years. Uh, you know, mom started out back in the 70s when women weren't uh, as many women in business as, as uh, there, there is now. How are you doing? What I love about Whitless Bay and the Irish Loop is they're like an extended family to Alderwood and they've always embraced our seniors. They're the backbone of our society. I think for any new entrepreneur, uh, they want to do their homework for sure. And they really, and I and I'll probably most say this, you really have to love your work. When you're in business, if you don't love it, it, it would I, I can't imagine having to work in an environment where I didn't love and because uh, you know in business you have your good days and your bad days so when you love it, it it's really easy to but you know when you're having a good day it's easy to get through but if you're having a bad day you have to love it enough to get through that bad day. When in-law reached out to me that I had won the award I was really humbled and and proud to to be a woman in business in Newfoundland and uh, so it was uh, was a great feeling. 
How's your day going overall? Pretty good? Good evening, everyone. I would like to take this opportunity to thank Enlo for making this award possible and awarding me the Economic Impact Award. I would also like to congratulate the other ladies here this evening as you are so worthy of your awards. I would like to thank all the females who have inspired me in my life, such as my mom, my late grandmother, co-workers, sister, and my amazing daughter for their positive spirit strong work ethic, which inspires me every day. Reflecting on what it means to receive this Economic Impact Award, I am humbled and forever grateful to have been the recipient. I'm so thankful to be in a position to make an economic impact in my home community of Whittles Bay. It gives me immense joy to employ so many amazing people from this community <coughs> excuse me, and other communities close by. And to liaise with many local organizations, schools, musicians, and fellow businesses. And finally, my seniors at Alderwood, who were able to share such a beautiful connection with the community for many years. For as long as I can remember, I had a vision and an ideology surrounding what I wanted for my seniors at Alderwood quality care and amazing fun gold years. And that being said, I could not be prouder that the Southern Shore shares my value and vision. Giving back and supporting this economy has been easy when it's amazing people you're giving back to. For all the young ladies in the province, my best advice is to find a career you're tru you truly love and are passionate about. Learn as much as you can about your chosen career. Remember, keep learning, ask questions, and seek out people who are great mentors. Have faith in yourself and build a strong team around you. You will be destined for success. Thank you. Congratulations, Deborah. Before we continue, I'd just like to take a moment to talk a little bit about what's happening here behind the scenes. You know, we have taken a lot of safety precautions and measures here this evening to ensure that this is a safe celebration for everyone involved. All of our crew here this evening are wearing masks. In between each use of the podium, the podium is being cleaned. And as we're seated here in the room, we have physically distanced ourselves to ensure that we are in keeping with the guidelines that have been established. We realize this is a rough year, but we are so excited to be able to have this celebration and we were willing to take the measures that were necessary so that we could do this celebration. So I thank you all for your cooperation here this evening. Well, that was a moment of seriousness. Now let's get on with it. We need to do a virtual door prize draw yet again. And this one, I love this bundle. I had to title this bundle. I love it so much. I've called it the Let's Get Cozy Bundle. And if you look at the table here beside me, you will see that from Hill Head House, we have a lovely wool blanket, a cookie dipper and mug set, and a set of three gourmet hot chocolates. So this is one for when you're at home on a Saturday night and you want to cuddle up on the couch and enjoy a good movie. I would say a type of movie, but I, I stopped myself because, you know, they, they're not giving us any money, so they don't get any promotion. Okay, now, drum roll. Here we go. And the winner is, oh, I'm very jealous, but it's the Lieutenant Governor, Judy Foote. Congratulations. Her honor is going to be receiving this package in the very near future. Our next award this evening is the Young Entrepreneur of the Year Award, which is sponsored by the College of the North Atlantic. The Young Entrepreneur of the Year Award recognizes an entrepreneur, 35 years of age or younger, who has owned and operated a profitable business for at least two years. The College of the North Atlantic has been a long-standing sponsor for this award and greatly enjoys encouraging many of the young people in our province. So. Without further ado, let's learn a little bit more about the College of the North Atlantic and let's celebrate this year's Young Entrepreneur of the Year Award recipient.
College of North Atlantic is uh, our public college here in the province and we offer programs across five different schools and we are located in 17 locations around the province. CNA's community involvement involves a lot of partnerships. We're into every community in Newfoundland through Municipalities Newfoundland and have done three different projects with them. We're also a very big hub for a lot of particularly rural areas in the province where a lot of events in the community happen at the campus. We engage the community as much as we can in everything we do. Women entrepreneurs are the backbone of our economy. As Enlo's statistics show, it's growing with women under 40. College of North Atlantic supports women in business uh, in a number of different ways. We have entrepreneurship supports through our Navigate Center uh, that we partnership with Grenfell on in Cornerbrook. We also are involved with Futurepreneur for entrepreneurs to access funding. We're also involved in the Atlantic Study and Stay program, which involves international students. And we really support the Newfoundland economy any way we can and any industry partners that come to us and want support from us. Any businesses, any one woman entrepreneur out there who needs support, whether it's getting their business off the ground, whether it's a problem or a pain point that they have in their business that they want us to address, they can reach out to us and contact us. It could be upskilling of their employees given the changes in the industry. In any way that we can help, we're interested in helping. So we encourage you to reach out to us. Hi, my name is Anna Petal. I'm manager of alumni and advancement here at College of the North Atlantic. The college is a proud partner with Inlow in sponsoring the Entrepreneur of the Year Awards. And without further ado, it's now my pleasure to introduce to you this year's Youth Entrepreneur of the Year. Succeed is on a mission to help the world grow. We design and build hydroponic gardens that empower anyone to grow fresh produce year-round for less than 30 cents per day and each of our gardens are built in partnership with Choices For You. Our gardens are used in educational facilities, seniors' homes, and helping families across Canada grow fresh produce every single day. The person who inspires me most is my grandfather. He came over to Newfoundland from England with just a couple dollars um, in his pocket and his family and turned it into three successful businesses. The passion that he had for Newfoundland and how much he believed in the agriculture sector and the potential here has always been an inspiration to me. Newfoundland and Labrador, I think, is one of the best places you can start a business because there's so much support and help around. We have such a giving and helping and building culture here in Newfoundland that this is the best place, in my opinion, across Canada to start a business. I think the key to succeed success has been team. Our team as it stands right now, the average age is 24. Having people who truly care being on the team and want to make a difference it has been a huge part of the success. I like lot of types of soil. <laughs> oh, it's so awesome. What's next for Succeed? We're on a mission to be educating one million students every single year across Canada, teaching them about sustainable agriculture, healthy eating and waste reduction. And for us, that's our way of creating a more sustainable agriculture sector here in Canada. The biggest piece of advice I'd give to young people wanting to start a business is do it now. This is the time in your life when you can take a bit more risk, when you can truly take the passions that you have and take action on them now. I think being young, it gives us a bit of this drive and we're not thinking about all of the consequences that could potentially happen. We have the ability to take risks and we also have some really great ideas. Please join me in welcoming the recipient of Enlow's 2020 Young Entrepreneur of the Year Award, Emily Bland of Succeed. Thank you all so much. Constantly in life, we're told over and over again that we can't possibly do something. 
Typically, it's followed up by the reasoning of you're too young, too old, you've never done that before. Everyone tells us that we can't do something until we can. Growing up, I was constantly judged for having too big of dreams and wanting to do things that didn't seem possible just because they weren't easy by teachers, mentors, classmates, and even friends. However, I was also incredibly fortunate to have parents and best friends who told me that I could do anything and a grandfather who proved every day to everyone that you can truly do anything that you believe in. When I made the jump into entrepreneurship, I honestly didn't think I'd last a week, let alone four years. And without the support system who has constantly reassured me every day of succeed, it would never be where it is today without everyone who's been a part of it. And thank you all for your constant belief and dedication to helping grow a better world. Today, Succeed is educating over 15,000 youth across Canada, providing employment opportunities to at-risk groups, and was named the top social enterprise in Atlantic Canada. And that would have never been possible without the team of strong women and completely women that we have today. We constantly believe that together we can grow a better world, but we're far from the typical team that you see growing a business. The average age at our company is 24, and at the age of 26, I'm the oldest person on our team. Together, every day, we prove that you can do unlikely things. We make change possible, and it doesn't matter how many people told us that we can't, because we are. When you believe in yourself, that's when true change happens. Every single one of us can make change and reach our goals if we are willing to believe in ourselves. I am incredibly proud to be receiving this award today. For me, it represents that we can all make change and make our goals come true. Your age, where you came from, it doesn't matter. If you believe in who you are today, you can accomplish all of your dreams. I'd like to dedicate this award to everyone who's ever been told that you can't do something because I'm here to tell you that you can and take the first step and believe in yourself. Thank you. Congratulations, Emily. Okay, well, we're at the big moment. We're moments away from our final award recipient of the evening. But first, we have a couple more virtual door prizes. First one we're gonna draw for is a basket from Enlo with Enlo branded products, many of which are very popular and well-loved, including our lovely Enlo masks. In addition to that, there is a $50 gift card in there from Staples. So let's go, drum roll. And the winner is Nicole Bruce. Congratulations, Nicole. We will get that basket out to you. The next and final prize for the evening is a coffee and tea basket from Birch and Berries out of Cornerbrook. That's a retail shop, one of our members out there. And they have provided us with a lovely basket with some um, travel mugs, some gross morn coffee, and a lovely pair of festive Christmas earrings. So I need another drum roll. Here we go. And for that one, we have Nasir Mohammed. Congratulations. We will make sure that you receive that gift coming up soon. Okay, well, that brings us to our final award of the evening. This is the Entrepreneurial Excellence Award sponsored by RBC Royal Bank. The Entrepreneurial the Entrepreneurial Excellence Award recognizes an entrepreneur who has been op in operating control of a business or businesses for at least 10 years. They have made a significant impact on the economy and whose success has served as an inspiration for many other women in business. Strong female business leaders are essential to the growth of women-owned businesses in our province as they act as important mentors and role models for other women entrepreneurs. And I know our recipient this evening fits the bill. So without further ado, let's learn more about our sponsor, RBC Royal Bank, and meet this year's very special Entrepreneurial Excellence Award recipient.
RBC Rural Bank. We're a global financial institution uh, here in the province of Newfoundland and Labrador. We support our communities all the way from Torbay to Happy Valley Goose Bay. Our mission is to help clients thrive and communities prosper. One of my biggest pride points actually has been how our RBCers have uh, gone deep into the community the past couple of years. Our people have found very unique ways to integrate into the community and help fulfill our purpose of helping clients thrive and communities prosper. My business is an advertising agency and it's called Ray Creative Agency. For me, I want someone who I can trust. Owning a small business is really stressful sometimes. It's really great when I have a question and when someone gets back to me right away, it's, um, it really helps. RBC is really proud to support women in business and business owners in general. And our approach is really about providing value beyond banking. And we do that through a wide array of products, solutions, services that you have access to as an entrepreneur that chooses to bank with RBC. And we're very, very happy with the level of support we've been able to provide to business entrepreneurs and particularly women in business. Entrepreneurs face challenges on a daily basis. I think that women entrepreneurs can face more. Supporting women entrepreneurs is also a key priority for RBC and we're privileged to be the bank of choice for thousands of women entrepreneurs uh, right across the country. RBC is very fortunate to be supporting the Women Entrepreneur Gala, mainly because it is celebration of the women in a province. I have often told the women entrepreneurs in a province that they really need to share their success. We want to make sure that women in a province benefit of everything that we have to offer as an organization, but also to celebrate the successes. They've really helped me every step of the way and um, every year I learn more about financials and how important it is to, to have healthy financials for the, for the company. So, and they've been a huge part of my success. I'm just proud of how RBC has continued to invest in women entrepreneurs uh, and our communities over the years. It makes a difference. My name is Kelly Storiel and I am RBC's Regional Vice President for Business Financial Services in Atlantic Canada. This is my first NLO Awards Gala and while I wish we could all be together in person, we are certainly celebrating together in spirit. Supporting women entrepreneurs is something that is near and dear to my heart and I am proud to be leading our team here in Atlantic Canada who deliver exceptional advice and service to women business owners every day. Tonight, I have the distinct honor of introducing a video featuring the 2020 Entrepreneurial Excellence Award. This award recognizes an entrepreneur who has owned and been in operating control of a business or businesses for at least 10 years. It's given to someone who has made a significant impact on the economy and whose success is an inspiration for other women in business. Ladies and gentlemen, let's watch the video. So FOMED is an international telemedicine company providing nurse advice services and software solutions to more than 15 million individuals throughout the US, Canada and the Caribbean. You know, I don't think I ever set out to be an entrepreneur. I'm a registered nurse by background. I think I kind of grew into it because I, I recognized opportunities that otherwise I wouldn't have even thought that I, I would be exposed to. You know, I think the key to my success is really wanting to make a difference. I used my acute care background to be able to bring that knowledge set to the business world. So the greatest achievement undoubtedly would be to grow an international business from here and to offer, you know, well in excess of 100 to 150 employment opportunities because I chose to grow the company from here. You know, I've always kept the focus of the company and the work we do um, to a, you know, a single stream. And I think because we have, we're certainly considered a leader right throughout North America in providing remote virtual care services. I think it's really important for women entrepreneurs right throughout Newfoundland and Labrador to reach out, to support one another, to not be afraid to ask for help or ask for advice, and helping them give a hand up if they need it from time to time. 
I look forward to the day when somebody, you know, you, you hear the name of the CEO or president of a company and you don't presume it's a man. So I truly look forward to the day when we don't have to talk about women leading a business or women entrepreneurs because it's just, it's a natural expectation. I think what inspires me mostly in recent times is the people of Newfoundland and the resilience of our population in general. And you know, over the last six, seven months in particular with this pandemic, I think we've seen the finest of people. And when I listen and look at the people of Newfoundland and what they're doing to contain this virus to the very best of their ability, and for our team who has stepped up above and beyond what I could have ever imagined, that's been my inspiration is the people here. It is my great pleasure and honor to welcome the recipient of Enlo's 2020 Entrepreneurial Excellence Award, Charlene Brophy of PhoneMed. Thank you, Jennifer. I want to extend my sincere appreciation to you and to Enlo, which, which is an organization that I've come to admire a great deal over the last number of years, not only for this award, but for this event and the celebration of women entrepreneurs throughout Newfoundland and Labrador. These events are challenging to arrange at the best of time, let alone in the midst of a pandemic. So kudos to you and to all your team in the room tonight and those who have supported you in bringing this to fruition. I also want to thank RBC Royal Bank. I am truly honored and humbled with this award and thank you. Well, wow, what a year this has been. It's been a year that I'm sure none of us could even have imagined living through. As women entrepreneurs, we already face so many challenges, but I don't believe any of us were ever prepared for the toll this would take on our businesses right here at home. Although many organizations are struggling right now, this is our new reality. I believe it's important for all of us to support one another and to hold on as tightly as we can in the midst of this pandemic. We are all so fortunate to live in a province and a country that supports and celebrates entrepreneurial success. Many times over the last number of years, I've been asked so often, what made you leave your career as a bedside nurse to pursue a business life? And I can honestly say that there was not one defining moment for me. I simply knew that always I loved to help others. That was what made me happy. And I've always believed that happiness doesn't come through personal gain. I always believed a deep and abiding happiness that comes over time by executing an idea that not only brings personal success, but helps contribute to the success and well-being of others as well, whether that's in the, my acute care work or whether that's in the business community. The industry that I am in and the work that I do, I am so fortunate because it allows me to do that. It allows me to provide healthcare access to 15 million individuals throughout North America from right here in Newfoundland and Labrador. While at the same time, it also offering meaningful employment opportunities to men and women throughout the province of Newfoundland and Labrador. That truly is what makes me most happy. I believe all of us need to find that happy place because success is then sure to follow. In closing, once again, thank you. I am truly, truly appreciative. This endorsement means a great deal to me because I believe it not only acknowledges my success, but the success of my work family and my home family. Thank you to each and every member of our team who are watching from the office tonight. I truly appreciate your dreaming right alongside me. And to my family at home who put up on my many long hours and missed suppers, thank you. I, I truly do appreciate your, all of your support. This, this award is truly a symbol to me. It's a seed I planted in myself many years ago, a seed that grew into something for me. And it's a symbol, a symbol that I hope somebody else out there tonight can use as a reminder to all of you never to lose sight of what your tomorrow could look like when you find your happy place as well. Thank you again to Enlo, and thank you for everybody for watching. Take care of yourselves. Good night.
Congratulations, Charlene. Well, that brings the awards presentation for this evening to a close, and I offer my sincere congratulations to all of tonight's award recipients. If you'd like to learn more about these amazing women, there will be a feature, a bunch of profiles on each of them in the next edition of The Advisor, Enloe's quarterly magazine, and that will be available for reading just in time for Christmas. The videos presented here this evening will also be available for viewing on our YouTube channel, Enloe's YouTube channel. As you have seen this evening, this year's honorees are wonderful examples of the diversity, resilience, and exciting work that's being done by women entrepreneurs right here in Newfoundland and Labrador. We at Enloe are excited and honored to be even a small part of all of their successes. Before I let you go this evening, it would be remiss of me not to once again thank all of our wonderful sponsors, Cox & Palmer, Blue Drop Learning Networks, McGinnis Cooper, The Hebron Project, College of the North Atlantic, and of course, RBC Royal Bank of Canada. Thank you to all of you for being here with us virtually this evening to share in our celebration of women in business. I'd also like to take a few moments to, to celebrate our supporters, and that is the Government of Newfoundland and Labrador, ACOA, the Atlantic Canada Opportunities Agency, and Women and Gender Equality Canada. Thank you as well to the Honorable Judy May Foote, Lieutenant Governor of Newfoundland and Labrador, the Honorable Melanie Jolie, Minister of Economic Development and Official Languages and the Minister responsible for ACOA, and the Honorable Andrew Fury, Premier of Newfoundland and Labrador, for your greetings. We had some wonderful door prizes here and lots of very excited people, I'm sure, who are going to receive them in the mail very soon. Thank you to Neuralham Painted Designs, Brenda Rowe Artwork, Birch and Berries, Carlin Designs, Spruce Up Labrador, and Hillhead House for being a part of tonight's event. And once again, thank you, Cassandra Berry. We love your photos. Make events. You're great. We love the set here this evening. Thank you for doing such a beautiful job. The Delta Hotel St. John's have hosted us this evening and their staff has been top notch. So thank you so much. And a big thank you to Walsh Productions for their tremendous work on the video presentations as well as their technical support over the last few months. This evening would not have happened without them and we thank you. Congratulations once again to all of our award recipients. You have made your families, your businesses, and your communities very proud. It's been my pleasure to host this ceremony, so thank you. Now, before we conclude for the evening, I'd like to invite back Margaret Budgel, Enloe's board president, to say a few words. Thank you, Jennifer. Wow, what an awesome evening. I want to offer my sincere congratulations to all of tonight's award recipients. It's been wonderful to be here with you this evening and celebrate your success. Congratulations. What an inspiration you all are. And thank you everyone for joining us live this evening for Enloe's 2020 Entrepreneur of the Year Awards. We hope you leave feeling inspired and empowered and ready to work towards your goals and dreams. Anything is possible as we saw here tonight. Thank you once again to the government of Newfoundland and Labrador and the Atlantic Canada Opportunities Agency. Without your support, none of this would be possible. I'd also like to thank the Enloe staff for all their hard work in making this event happen. A very special thank you to our CEO, Jennifer. You have done an awesome job hosting this virtual event. Thank you for all that you do. It's been my pleasure to join Jennifer this evening, as well as all the award recipients, and take the time to recognize these amazing women in our province. Thank you and good night, everyone. Once again, thank you all very much for joining us here this evening. Take care and good night.